so today we will read in Chaitanya Charit Amrita Matya Lila chapter 8 conversations between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy. So we will start with text 11. When he, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, saw the river Godavari, the Lord remembered the river Yamuna, and when he saw the forest on the banks of the river, he remembered Sri Vrindavan Dharm. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going to meet Ramananda Roy. And here is the base. When he saw the river Godavari, the Lord remembered the river Yamuna. And when he saw the forest on the banks on the river, he remembered Sri Vrindavan Dham. After performing his usual chanting and dancing for some time in this forest, the Lord crossed the river and took his bath on the other bank. Text 13 After bathing in the river, the Lord walked a little distance from the bathing place and engaged in chanting the holy name of Krishna. So we may understand from these verses what is the mood of the Lord right now. Bathing in the Yamuna, chanting and dancing in Vrindavan. And chanting the names of Krishna. So we may understand the mood who is chanting the names of Krishna in Vrindavan by the Yamuna. Ena kale dolaya chati ramananda roy svana kari bhara oila bhajana bhajai. At that time, accompanied, accompanied by the sound of music, ramananda roy came there mounted on a palanquin to take his bath. Tandra Sange Bahu Aila Vadika Praman Viti Mate Koila Tenno Swanadi Tapan. Many Brahmanas, following the Vedic principles, accompanied Ramananda Roy. According to Vedic rituals, Ramananda Roy took his bath and offered oblations to his forefathers. Prabhu Tanre de Kichanila Eram Roy Tanhare Militi Prabhu Ramanu Utidoi. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could understand that the person who had come to bathe in the river was Ramananda Roy. The Lord wanted so much to meet him that his mind immediately began running after him. (laughs) 
So it's the mood of Brindavan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not seeing Ramananda Roy. He is actually seeing his real form. Her close friend is coming. And she wants to embrace her. But although Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was running after him mentally, he patiently remained sitting. Ramananda Roy, seeing the wonderful Sanyasi, then came to see him. Text 18. Surya Shatta Sama Kanti Arunavasana Supalita Prakanda Deha Kamala Lojana. Srila Ramananda Roy then So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as brilliant as a hundred suns. The Lord was covered by a saffron garment. He was large in body and very strongly built, and his eyes were like lotus petals. Dekia tanhare mane hoila chamatkara, ashiya karila dhan dandavat namaskara. When Ramananda Roy saw the wonderful Sanyasi, he was struck with wonder. He went to him and immediately offered his respectful obeisances, falling down flat like a rod. So playing his role in Sadak, he is offering his obeisances. Text 20 Uti Prabhu Kahe Uta Kaha Krishna Krishna Tare Alangita Prabhura Ridaya Shatrishna the Lord stood up and asked Ramananda Roy to arise and chant the holy name of Krishna. Indeed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very eager to embrace him. So we may feel that these two persons who really come together, they're very eager to embrace each other and together chant the name of Krishna. Because this is what they're doing in Vrindavan near the Yamuna. Tatapi Puchila Tumiroi Ramananda Teno Kahe Sehana Dasa Supramanda. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then inquired whether he was Ramananda Roy, and he replied, Yes, I am your very low servant, and I belong to the Sutra community. Tabe tare kaila prabhu trita alingana brahmavesha prabhu pritya donhe achetana. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then embraced Sri Ramananda Roy very firmly. Indeed, both the master 
and the servant almost lost consciousness due to ecstatic love. So when they embrace, they forget about their outer form. They are embracing with their real spiritual forms. That's why this feeling arises. Ecstatic love. Immediately, they are completely lost in feelings. Mahabhav herself is embracing her own extension. That's really amazing if we think about this, if we feel that, what is happening here. Svabhavika Brema Donhara Udoi Karila Dunha Alingia Dunhe Bhumite Padila. Their natural love for one another was awakened in them both, and they both embraced and fell down on the ground. So their natural love. We know our natural position is in Ladini Shakti. And here their natural law for one another has awakened in them both. Radharani and Vishaka are actually embracing and they are exchanging ecstatic feelings. And here writes Srila Prabhupada in his purport, Srila Ramananda Roy was an incarnation of the Gopi Vishaka. Since Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Lord Krishna himself, there was naturally an awakening of love between Vishaka and Krishna. So that's one side. But now Srila Prabhupada is going to the other side. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the combination of Sri Mati Radharani and Krishna. The Gopi Vishaka is a principal Gopi assisting Sri Mati Radharani. So Ramananda Roy and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraced since their natural love also was awakened. We can understand in this commentary that Srila Prabhupada is aware what is happening here. <coughs> of course. Stampa Sveta Ashukampa Pulaka Vaimarnya Dunhara Mukete Shuni Gadgata Krishna Varna. When they embraced one another, ecstatic symptoms, paralysis, perspiration, tears, shivering, palpitations, and paleness appeared. The word Krishna came from their mouth falteringly. Tekiya Pramana Ganera Hoyla Chamatka Vaidika Pramana Saba Karena Vicha. When the stereotyped, when the stereotyped ritualistic brahmanas 
who were following the Vedic principles saw this ecstatic manifestation of love, they were struck with wonder. All these brahmanas began to reflect as follows. So now we hear how they see it from the outer platform. These brahmanas began to think, we can see that this sannyasi has a luster like the effulgence of Brahman. But how is it? He is crying upon embracing a shudra, a member of the fourth caste in the social order. They thought, this Ramananda Roy is the governor of Matras, a highly learned and grave person, a Maha Pandit. But upon touching this sannyasi, he has become restless like a madman. While the brahmanas were thinking in this way about the activities of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the brahmanas and restrained his transcendental emotions. So Srila Prabhupada is writing in the purport, Ramananda Roy was intimately related to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, he can be accepted as a Sachatiya, a person within the intimate circle of the Lord. Sachatiya, Sangha, we know this. This was Sachatya Sangha, both mad, completely absorbed in transcendental ecstasy. And then there are the Pramanas, and they were followers of the Vedic rituals and were not able to have an intimate connection with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Consequently, they are called vichatiya loka. In other words, they were not pure devotees. Shushta hana dunhe se stanete visala vasila tapehashi mahaprabhu kahite lagila. When they regained their sanity, they both sat down and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to smile and speak like follows. Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya has spoken of your good qualities. And he has made a great endeavor to convince me to meet you. Indeed, I have come here just to meet you. It is very good that even without making an effort, I have gotten your interview here. Ramananda Roy replied, Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya thinks of me as his servant. Even in my absence, he is very careful to do me good. By his mercy, I have received 
your interview here. Consequently, I consider that today I have become a successful human being. So who is meeting Radharani in that mood is definitely a successful human being. At least in this Sadaka. Sarva Bhoma Tomara Kripa Tare E Jina Asprishya Spashile Hanatanra Prema Dhina. I can see that you have bestowed special mercy upon Sarva Bhoma Bhattacharya. Therefore, you have touched me, although I am untouchable. This is due only to his love for you. Kahan tumi shakshat ishvara narayana kahan muni racha sebe vishaye sutra dhama. You are the supreme personality of Godhead, Narayan himself, and I am only a government servant interested in materialistic activities. Indeed, I am the lowest amongst men of the fourth. Caste. This is a very interesting statement because Ramananda Roy is saying, You are the Supreme Personality of Godhead Narayan Himself. But with whom he is speaking? He is speaking with Rarani. So he is aware, or she is aware, that actually the love of Radharani is taking care also as in the forms of Narayan. Because the inner Shakti is going to be the out, outer Shakti to serve in any way. So Outside, he is saying, you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Narayan himself, and I am only a government servant interested in materialistic activities. He describes himself like that. But this is just a show, outer show. Indeed, I am the lowest amongst men of the fourth caste. And this is humbleness in Sadak Avesh. So, Sadak Avesh. But we know what is inside. And Gurudev, I I have to remember you that you made a promise in this connection because the inner energy and the energy in the outer form. So you promised to say something what your Gurudev was actually sharing with you. It's the outer energy to a sannyasi. He say he, he will say, "I'm Mayavadi sannyasi." You read? So he is sannyasi, and he is Narayan. Mayavad means 
not true. No believing. All right? So here, uh, read more. It will be very, you are explaining very nice, like my Guru Dev. Go on. Antaranga Shakti is going to be Vahiranga Shakti. And this actually is going on. Yeah. You, you dress something else, but you are something else. <laughs> you show that you are in Aran, but you are something else. Yes, you, you are, are something else. Your love is everywhere. And your love is even serving as Narayan. Yeah. So in the outer form, I have contact to this form. Everybody but inside you call is a false form that you are showing and telling that you dress like that. <laughs> then he says, Mahaprabhu himself, I'm a Mayavadi Sanyasi. See, read that more. <laughs> yes. So, Tomara Kripaya Tomaya Karaya Ninda Karma Shakshat Ishvara Tumi Ke Jane Tomara Mama You are the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself. Therefore, no one can understand your purpose. By your mercy, you are touching me, although this is not sanctioned by the Vedas. Ama nishtarite tomara ihan agaman param dhayalu tumi patita pavan. You have come here specifically to deliver me. You are so merciful that you alone can deliver all fallen souls. Wow. This is the point. Yeah. You have come here specifically to deliver me. He is talking about himself as a fallen soul. So, you are so merciful that you alone, you alone can deliver all fallen souls. This is not possible for Krishna. <laughs> Only Radharani can deliver all fallen souls because of her mercy. This is your inner energy. Outer energy you so as a sannyasi that you are Sakshat Narayan. You three danda. This three danda is an alliance for so outside you play like a sannyasi, but I know who is inside. Yeah. And I describe it in a way that people may understand who have the ears and the eyes to see. But I will cover it a little bit. Some will not understand. Apple who covered it? But Ramananda Rai is opening, mm. is covering. So, text number 39 Mahanta Swabhav Etarite Bhamara Nichakaya Nahi Tabu Yana Tara Ghara. 
It is the general practice of all saintly people to deliver the fallen. Therefore, they go to people's houses although they have no personal business there. My dear Lord, sometimes great saintly persons go to the homes of householders, although these householders are generally low-minded. When a saintly person visits their homes, one can understand that it is for no other purpose than to benefit the householders. This verse is from Srimad Bhagavatam 10.8.4 Along with me there are about a thousand men including the Brahmanas and all of them appear to have had their hearts melted simply by seeing you. So Ramananda Roy is actually making the spot very clear. All these people around it seems that their heart is melting just by seeing you. So if even Krishna's heart is melting by seeing Radharani, we can understand that the heart of every living being will melt when they just see Radharani's shining. I hear everyone chanting the holy name of Krishna. So these people are all chanting just by seeing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Just by seeing the molten gold shining person. They are chanting the holy names of Krishna. How is this possible? This can only be Radharani. Because who is thinking about Krishna all the time, completely inside, outside? Krishna is everywhere, in her and around her. So it's natural that people who have contact with her are chanting the name of Krishna. Everyone is thrilled with ecstasy and there are tears in everyone's eyes. So just by meeting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is actually happening with all these people around Ramananda Roy. That's amazing. It's an amazing scene. My dear sir, according to your bodily features and your behavior, you are the supreme personality of Godhead. Such behavior and features are impossible for ordinary living beings, for they cannot possess such transcendental qualities. And even Krishna cannot have such 
qualities without Radharani. That's the point. And Srila Prabhupada is writing in his purport, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's bodily features were uncommon indeed. His body was extraordinary in its measurements, the measurement of his chest as well as the measurement of his forearms were the same length and other bodily signs actually. So really amazing. The Lord replied, Prabhu kahe tumi maha bhaga vatottama tomara darshane sabara trava hoilamana. Sir, you are the best of the topmost devotees. Therefore, upon seeing you, everyone's heart is melted. Anjera kikata ami maya vadi sanyasi ami ha tamara sparse krishna prema bhasi. Although I am a Mayavadi Sanyasi, a non devotee, I am also floating in the ocean of love of Krishna simply by touching you and what to speak of others. So, like Gurudev, you said. He is saying that although I am a Mayavari Sanyasi, a non-devotee, I am also floating in the ocean of love of Krishna simply by touching you. Knowing this in order to rectify my heart, which is very hard, Sarvabhoma Bhatta Acharya asked me to meet you. In this way, each of them praised the qualities of the other and both of them were pleased to see one another. All this time, one Brahmana Vaishnava, following the Vedic principles, came and offered obeisances. He fell flat before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and invited him for lunch. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted the Brahmana's invitation, knowing him to be a devotee and slightly smiling spoke as follows to Ramananda Roy. I wish to hear from you about Lord Krishna. Indeed, my mind is inclined to desire this. Therefore, I wish to see you again. Ramananda Roy replied, My Lord, although you have come to correct me, a fallen soul, my mind is not yet purified simply by seeing you. Please stay for five or seven days and kindly cleanse my polluted mind. After that much time, my mind will certainly be pure. So that's a very clever invitation.
Text 53. Although neither could tolerate the other's separation, Ramananda Roy nonetheless offered his obeisances to Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and departed. Then Lord Sri Chaitanya, uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to a house of the Brahmana who had invited him to took his lunch there. When the evening of that day arrived, both Brahmananda Roy and the Lord were eager to meet one another again. Prabhu Snana Kritakari Achena Vashiya Eka Pritya Shangerai Milila Ashiya. After finishing his evening bath, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sat down and waited for Ramananda Roy to come. Then Ramananda Roy, accompanied by one servant, came to meet him. Namaskara Kaila Roy, Prabhu Kaila Alingane, Dui Jane Krishna Kata Kai Rahastane. Ramananda Roy approached Lord Sri Chaitanya and offered his respectful obeisances, and the Lord embraced him. Then they both began to discuss Krishna in a secluded place. And Srila Prabhupada is writing in his purport, the word Rahasthane in a secluded place is very significant. Talks about Krishna and his pastimes, especially his pastimes in Bandavan, and his dealings with the gopis are all very confidential. They are not subject matter for public discussion. Prabhu Kai Pata Shloka Sadhyera Nirnaya Roy Kai Sva Dhamacharane Vishnu Bhakti Hai Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered Ramananda Roy to recite a verse from the revealed scriptures concerning the ultimate goal of life. Ramananda replied that if one executes the prescribed duties of his social position, he awakens his original Krishna consciousness. Vana Sharama Acharavata Purushena Parapumam Vishnu Arabhyate Panta Nanya Tattosha Karanam The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Vishnu, is worshipped by the proper execution of prescribed duties in the system of Varna and Ashram. There is no other way to satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One must be situated in the institution of the four Varnas and Ashramas. Prabhu Kahe Eho Bhai Aga Kaha Ara Rai Kahe Krishna Kamar Pana Sarva Sadhya Sara The Lord replied, This is external. You had better tell me of some other means. Ramananda replied, To offer the results of one's activities to Krishna is the essence of all perfection. (laughs) 
यत करोसि यत असनासि यत चुहोसि दधासि यत यत तपस्यसि कौंतेय तत कुरुष्वा मत अर्पणम रामानंद रॉय कंटिन्यूड ओ सन ऑफ कुंति ऑल दैट यू डू ऑल दैट यू ईट ऑल दैट यू ऑफर and give away as well as all austerities that you may perform should be done as an offering unto me prabhu ka hai eho bhaya aage kaha ara roy ka hai स्वधर्म त्याग ए सत्य सारा दिस इज ऑल्सो एक्सटर्नल श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु से प्लीज प्रोसीड एंड स्पीक फर्दर ऑन दिस मैटर रामानंद रॉय रिप्लाइड टू गिव अप वंस ऑक्युपेशनल ड्यूटीज इन द वनश्रामा is the essence of perfection ramananda roy continued occupational duties are ramananda roy say varnashram and prabhu party king is also this but ashram dharma because they know that they cannot do more than this but now astonishing he is saying exact exact uh, exact the opposite to give them up i give so up how to understand that because is is the condition of the consciousness was up to this <laughs> so he teach the form last matter the proper that he teach up to one ashram dham to him more than that i cannot teach western devotee they are not ready to accept it <laughs> this is the thing they no want to go up than this so if we we want to go up from this we have to go, go on these are the stages yes and ramanoy ramanand roy is continuing now occupational uh, occupational duties are described in the religious scriptures he is saying religious <laughs> scriptures religious you see <laughs> so he means to say give up dharma no no read this he say only to keep it religious practice one ashram dharma is important he is saying occupational duties are described in the religious scriptures if one As religious scriptures describe yes religious practice yeah. then if okay. one he's going further if one analyzes them he can fully understand their qualities and faults and then give them up then give them up completely to render service unto the supreme personality of godhead right so sarva dhamana parichaja no step by step he say step by step and not jump 
But it's the beginning. Such a person is considered a first-class man. And now the next text is Sarva Daman Parichaja Mam Ekam Sharanam Braja Aham Tvam Sarva Papebhyo Moksha Ishyami Masuchaha So first he's telling to follow, now he's telling not to follow. So he's giving step by step, as you said. Step by step he's giving. As stated in the scripture Bhagavad Gita 1866, after giving up all kinds of religious and occupational duties, if you come to me, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and take shelter, I will give you protection from all of life's sinful reactions. Do not worry. Gorisar Germany, WhatsApp audio. All line we all line <laughs> this line. Then it will not come out. All this line you have to read step by step. What what line you mean? I in English what is there? You have to read every word and line. I did. Yeah. Should I should I make again one? Yeah. So Ramananda and I continued, occupational duties are described in the religious scriptures. Yeah. If one analyzes them, he can what fully is, understand. Occupational duty, karma shabakti. What you are doing, do that work and also think and serve to Lord. This is Karma Shabbat. Yes. In more de details explaining. Then it's denied Karma Shabbat. Gyan Mishra Bhakti. And it's also social duties. All uh, step by step you read. You cannot escape one word. I don't escape the words. It's not written here, social, but it's written in, in Bangla. Occu occupational in, duties. In Bangla? Yeah, yeah occupational duties, manage what you are work working. And then you do uh, that you do and also take care of the your spiritual life. In service of Radha Krishna, this is occupational duty. Agya yaivam gunan dosan mayatishtan api smakan dharman sat yaya. Uh, Sant Yaija Ya Sarvan Mang Bajet Sacha Satamaha So the occupational duties are described in the religious scriptures if one analyzes them, he can fully understand their qualities and faults, and then give up them completely to render service unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
such a person is considered a first class man. And then the statement of 1866. So, Gurudev, is this the hint to Raga Bhakti? Step out of religion. But not now. It's all bad bhakti and religious activity. What he denies is all religious. Yes. Rag bhakti is not. Yeah. So he denies it all. The. the uh, uh, what you say? Banashram uh, Dharma, these are rejected of by Mahaprabhu. So if someone has given up this and is serving directly, such a person is considered a first class one. man. Uh, one by one you have to do. Then understanding will be clear. I'm asking you. Yeah. Yeah. After hearing Ramananda Roy speak in this way, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Go ahead and say something more. He is not accepting. <laughs> He denied. He wants to go further. Denying. These are not away. He's all confused. Huh? Brahma, Banacham, Dharma, Jnana I want to develop knowledge. Go ahead. Dharma, Go ahead. These are not going to work. So after hearing Ramananda Roy speak in this way, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Go ahead and say something more. Ramananda Roy then replied, Devotional service mixed with empiric knowledge is the essence of perfection. Now you have to go details. <laughs> so devotional service mixed with empiric knowledge is the essence of perfection. Yeah. So this means that somebody has the inclination of a kyani, right? Yeah. Impure knowledge, mixed knowledge. Empiric knowledge. knowledge. What? Material knowledge, empiric. Yes, yes, yes. Not real knowledge, yes. divine. Like we are, <laughs> we have many knowledge, many degrees, many certificates, but not realization of self or soul. Text 65. Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma Nashuchati Nakangshati Samar Saveshu Bhutashu Mat Bhaktim Lapate Param. Ramananda Roy continued. 
According to Bhagavad Gita, one who is thus transcendentally situated at once realizes the Supreme Brahman and becomes fully joyful. He never laments or desire to have anything. He is equally disposed to every living entity. In that state, he attains pure devotional service unto me. Prabhu kahe, eho bhaya aage kaha aara? Roy kahe, jnana sunya bhakti sadhya sara. After hearing this, the Lord, as usual, rejected it, considering it to be external devotional service. He again asked Ramananda Roy to speak further, and Ramananda Roy replied, Pure devotional service without any touch of speculative knowledge is the essence of perfection. Yeah. Yeah. You also deny it. <laughs> so Ramananda Roy continued. Subject had to study more deep. This is the essence of our philosophy, Siddhanta, Gaudiya Vaishnava. What does speculation mean? Like speculations, uh, like a imagination, I will do myself independent, you can say. False ego. False ego. Speculation, if I speculate, then I'm... Uh -huh. Myself, no following mm -hmm. through the line, and I make my line. Speculation also means judgment, not judge. Uh, yes. Um, mm. Ramananda Roy continued. Lord Brahma said, My dear Lord, those devotees who have drawn away the impersonal conception of the Absolute Truth and have therefore abundant discussing empiric philosophical truth should hear from self-realized devotees about your holy name, form, pastimes, and qualities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after neglecting philosophy and all this, mm -hmm. they should hear from pure devotees your holy name, form, pastimes, and qualities. They should completely follow the principles of devotional service and remain free from illicit sex, gambling, intoxication, and animal slaughter. So what I find out here is actually this is not in the Bangla or okay. in this. I have for the... American, huh? 
This was added actually. American devotee. They were doing this. Yes. <laughs> For the Western mind, <laughs> he had something. As for his disciple, and it works like that. Good. What is this? Copy. We have note pads, copy pads. Oh, where you find it, Shama? In the shop. Many go through everything. Indeed, you are conquered by such persons, although you are always unconquerable. So by love, he is conquered. Yeah. At this point, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, Eho hoy age kaha ara. This is acceptable, but say little more is not satisfying to me. Roy kahe brema bhakti sarva sadhya sara. You see, now it's that. Brema bhakti. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, this is all right, but still you can speak more on this subject. Ramananda Roy then replied, ecstatic love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the essence of all perfection. <laughs> Ramananda Roy continued, as long as there is hunger and thirst, eating and drinking make one feel very happy. That is great also. Hunger and thirst. Mm. Like Srila Ananda Das Babaji is telling in one uh, description mm. in Vilap Kusumanjali that a person can only eat with relishment if he has hunger. So hunger and thirst, we need to drink and to be happy. So when the Lord is worshipped with pure love, transcendental bliss is awakened in the heart of the devotee. So that's why Radharani has hundred thousand times more relish men. Right? Yeah. Because she has the most love, the most hunger, the most thirst. And that's why she is relishing the most her savor. If we follow her, 
tan descancando. If you will not follow, this hungerness will not come and thirst will not come. That feeling will not come without her mercy. Pure devotional service in Krishna consciousness can not be had even by pious activity in hundreds and thousands of lives. Yeah. Pious activity is not work. And religious principles teach only pious activity. It can be attained only by paying one price. That is intense greed to obtain it. Yeah. If it is available somewhere, one must purchase it without delay. Yeah. Borrow, beg or steal. If you have no money. Narayan Maharaj teaching. So actually, this is my problem. I have no hunger, I have no thirst. You have great hunger and thirst. And I always delay. I always think, yeah, maybe tomorrow. This is I have, you have to. You are sharing chatta and chatta with me. I am proud of you. You are teacher. Of this. I'm not even a good parrot. <laughs> I'm feeling like a small child trying to reach the moon in the sky. That's all. Just by your mercy, I'm allowed to read here. So. I always delay and I have no hunger and no thirst, so please, I heard that by the mercy of such souls like you, this thirst and hunger may come up. May you bless us for that. Oh. Jai Radha Rani ki jai, Jai Prima, Allah Dhani ki jai. Prabhu ka hai, eho hai aage kaha aara. Roy ka hai, dasya prema sarva satya sara. Hearing up to the point of spontaneous love, the Lord said, this is all right, but if you know more, please tell me. In reply, Ramananda Roy said, Spontaneous loving service in servitude as exchanged by master and servant is the highest perfection. Jan nama shruti matrena puman bhavati nirmalaha tasya tirta pata kimba dhashanam avashishyate. A man becomes purified simply by hearing the holy name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, whose lotus feet 
create the holy places of pilgrimage. Therefore, what remains to be attained by those who have become his servants? Text 73 By serving you constantly, one is freed from all material desires and is completely pacified. When shall we engage as your permanent eternal servants and always feel joyful to have such a perfect master? Text 74 Prabhu Kahe Eho hoi kichu age ara. Roy kahe. Sakya prema sarva satya sara. Hearing this from Ramananda Roy, the Lord again requested him to go a step further. In reply, Ramananda Roy said, Loving service to Krishna rendered in fraternity is the highest perfection. Those who are engaged in self-realization, appreciating the Brahman effulgence of, of the Lord and those engaged in devotional service, accepting the Supreme Personality of Godhead as Master, as well as those who are under the clutches of Maya, thinking the Lord an ordinary person, cannot understand that certain exalted personalities. After accumulating volumes of pious activities are now playing with the Lord in friendship as cowherd boys. This is a statement by Shukadev Goswami, Bhagavatam 10, 12, 11. Prabhu kahe, eho uttama age kaha ara. Roy kahe, vatsalya brema sarva sadhya sara. The Lord said, this statement is very good, but please proceed even further. Ramananda Roy then replied, Loving service to the Lord in the parental relationship is the highest perfectional stage. Mm 